what's going on guys sharp shot here hope you guys having a great day so far so today's video we'll be looking at and answering the question is dvd's player base dying with a lot of negative talk in the dvd community about things that have been added into the game over the past year with the most talked about issue being the skill-based matchmaking and mmr system that was added in 2021 a lot of players have been expressing their frustration in the community and some have quit outright and i'm sure a ton of you guys are wondering how dvd's health as a game is doing and what the numbers are looking like behind the scenes so with these graphs and this data that i'm going to show you i wanted to look at if these negative things that are being added by behavior into the game are actually negatively impacting the player base and the community so i'm going to be breaking this data down for you guys and then at the end of the video i'm going to be answering the question whether or not dvd is dying so yeah without further ado let's get right into the video before diving into the numbers i just wanted to explain what each chart's data is actually showing the first graph we're going to be looking at shows the lifetime concurrent player base playing dvd on steam and it also shows the lifetime concurrent viewers watching dvd on twitch more specifically the green line represents the peak amount of players playing dvd at a given time and for those of you guys that don't know the peak is the highest number of players playing at a given time not the average players Likewise, the blue line is the peak viewers at a given time watching DVD on Twitch. And the red vertical lines represent time periods in which DVD was free to play on Steam. So anybody on Steam could download it and play the game. Our second chart also shows the player base playing DVD on Steam, but in greater depth. The chart itself shows the peak concurrent players playing at any time exactly like the first chart. But there's also a table listing the average players playing in a month as well as the peak players and it also shows the gain in numbers and the gain percentage compared to the previous month so i just want to reiterate that both of these charts are showing the player base just for steam it isn't showing any console platforms switch or mobile or even epic games for all we know epic games could have skyrocketed the average player base but for now we're only looking at steam so at the time of this recording is january 14th 2022 i think it's only proper to start off in small increase and then look at the bigger picture after with that being said on january 11th there were 45,000 players playing dvd on steam at its peak and if we look to three months ago 53,000, and it's kind of been steadily declining here if we look at six months it was 75,000, so it keeps declining if we look at it from last year at 52,000, it's still declining you actually have to go back two years in order to match the peak player base that dvd currently has has you have to go back all the way to january 27th where they had 38k in peak this might seem alarming that in two years dvd hasn't grown at all and it's at the same level that it was two years ago but this chart is showing the peak number of players so the peak might be a little deceiving because that's at the max so i think now it's only right to check out the average player base and see if anything is changing there if we look at the average number of players over the last 30 days it's 40,000. but instead of going all the way back to Two years to see that the average player base is at the same level you only need to go back eight months in may 2021 i personally think that the average is a better statistic to look at than the peak if you look two years ago all the way back in January 2020, where we looked at the peak, the average number was at 23,000. You can see that the average has doubled from 23 to 40,000. So it's a big change. And I think that the average tells you more about the player base than the peak does. You might also notice a consistent trend where it's red for a couple months in the winter and it's green in the summer months. For example, in the summer month of July 2021, the average was at 62,000, which is actually the highest average player base that dvd has had in 2021 and if you go all the way back to july 2020 the average player base was 40,500, which was also the highest average player base in 2020 so you can see that there's obviously a spike in the summer months it actually dips down in the winters where it dips from november all the way down to march and i'm expecting the same thing to happen here and we can already see the first half of it that in 2021 starting in october it's been starting to dip down and we're probably going to see a dip all the way until march actually in march it's going to skyrocket up with the release of the ringu chapter so by march we'll see the same thing here where it's going to spike up and then keep spiking up in the summer months and we can also see that a year ago from now in january 2021 the average player base was at 36 
36,000. And right now in January, 2022, it's at 40,000. It's not a huge step up, but the player base is better than it was a year ago. So the winter months, yes, they might be bad, but the winter month of 2022 is actually better than it was in 2021. There's actually one observation you can make from the all time data of the peak players playing DVD. You can see that the player base has been steadily growing, not by much, but it's been actually a very healthy and a stable game for such a long time now. And this steep decline starting in October 2021 in the peak players might seem pretty alarming, but you have to remember that the peak all time, the highest number of players that's ever played DVD was in May 2021 at 105,000. So this was definitely not a regular month for DVD. This was actually when Resident Evil released, which was arguably the biggest license that DVD has ever released. In the following months, in September, October was when Pinhead and the Boom Totems released. So that was a big change. A lot of people wanted to try those out and there was 100K at peak. Look at these irregular peaks where there was something really new and really big in DVD all the way to right now, which is just any other regular month in DVD. It really throws it off of proportion and you can really see that the regular months for DVD is 53, 52, 55, and right now it's at 58 for the peak. So it's actually a pretty regular month. These spikes I mentioned are also noticeable whenever there is a free play event. As you can see, the green line spikes up whenever it crosses a red little vertical line. There was one in the recent months where it peaked at 100K right around when the boon totems released obviously from then until now it looks like a really steep decrease but in reality it was an irregular peak with dvd being free when it usually isn't and with this graph i really wanted to look at the twitch viewership compared to the player base you can see that right now in january 6 2022 there were 108,000 viewers watching dvd on twitch this might be an irregular month i'm going to be honest because of maybe xqc playing dvd and bringing his 70,000 viewers into the category but if if we look back onto a more regular month, we can see that the Twitch viewership was 64,000. And to match this viewership, you have to go and step back all the way to a year ago, to around February 2021, where the Twitch viewership was 59,000. The Twitch numbers seem to be matching the player base numbers, where the Twitch numbers are equal to what they were around a year ago. Looking at the Twitch viewership compared to the player base, you can actually see that as of the past year, the player base has transitioned from playing the game more and watching it less to watching the game more and playing it less the dvd community might be playing dvd less but the community as a whole is still there and is still really rooting for dvd because they're still consuming the content actually higher than they ever have been outside of the resident evil dlc which skewed it a lot so now to answer the question is dvd dying looking back at the graphs we can see that dvd is at an alarming two-year low at its peak player base which seems really Really, really concerning but in my opinion i actually do not think dvd is a dying game we obviously can't fully predict the future of the game but looking in the past and looking at the graphs from the last few years gave us a pretty good indication that dvd is not going anywhere like i said before with the summer and the winter trends with dvd there's always gonna be a spike up in the summer and it's gonna make it look really bad in the winter because it always dips down so right now we're kind of in the dip down phase and right around march 2022 when ringu releases is when the dip down is going to go all the way back up and it's actually going to skyrocket. Ringu is super iconic and it's going to be a really big license in my opinion. So I think if DVD pulls this off right, they might even be able to top their record peak players playing DVD of 105,000 when Resident Evil released. And then after the March, it's going to stay up on the spike because of the summer months. We even looked at the all-time statistics. You can really see that DVD has been steadily growing every year since it's launched it might look bad in these recent couple months but if you look all the way back and how many years dvd has been able to sustain their game it's been one of the most consistent titles on steam in my opinion so i don't think dvd is going anywhere and i don't think it's dying whatsoever so yeah guys that's been the analysis on whether dvd is dying or not let me know in the comments if you guys think dvd is dying after looking at the data and hearing my thoughts i'm really curious to see what conclusions you guys have drawn on the current state of dvd after looking at the numbers so yeah guys that's been the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and subscribe if you're new this has been sharp shot and i will see you guys in the next video